Well, everybody, how are you doing? <laughs> you Qlet, British Columbia, Canada, had an earthquake now at 1.35 p.m. <clears throat> I don't know what the universal, I guess, be 13, uh, yeah, it'd be 13, 35. So anyways, uh, 4.5, that could change. I will make the adjustment in the caption. Sometimes by the time I get a chance, by the time it loads, I'm at home, so it could take a little while. I'm trying to do this quick. I just want to say, hey to all of my subscribers, how are you doing? Thank you for following. But I do report stuff like this, and uh, maybe uh, the, the Prince Harry and whatever, whoever they are that want to live in British Columbia Island, that's where this place is. And the last one is 6.9. No, it was 6.3. 6.3 was the biggest one. But it started with uh, a 4.3 or something, or even 4.5, and another 4 point something, and then a big one went pop. And the unusual thing with this one is, is that it's about um, 5 kilometers, the depth. Okay, so usually they're 10. I've noticed they've been 10. This one's very shallow. And shallow ones, or shallow quakes, they do give off, or can give off tendencies to give uh, tsunamis. Oh, with a big earthquake, though. I, I don't think a 4.5. I, I, in my app, says, did you feel it? I honestly didn't feel it up here, uh, up in the Caribou of British Columbia. No, I did not feel it. I did feel that the 6.3 when I was in Chilliwack visiting at Christmas time. Man, that was a Christmas Eve movement. Anyways... Once again, uh, you cue it, I believe I said that right, British Columbia, Canada, uh, 4.5, that could change by the USGS, depending uh, however they all get their sensors in business altogether. Sometimes it goes up, but most of the time it drops. But anyways, I tried to have a great one. <laughs> Stay safe and make sure you have a kit, because you just never know, because it's more than just earthquakes or it could be even snowstorms look at back east just be prepared always uh, Batman